we must understand that learning is best conceived in the process and not in terms of the outcome. All learning is relearning, wherein existing beliefs and ideas about topic are re-examined, tested and integrated with the new and more refined ideas. Learning involves total function, it involves thinking, feeling, perceiving and behaving. Learning inherently involves grasping and transforming the concepts of learning. So, let us understand Bloom's taxonomy with a very simple example. The example is of a Newton's third law, action reaction. If I am asking questions or if I am touching upon the points like recalling the Newton's third law, what is it, can you state it. And when I ask learners and when my learners are able to list, locate, name, recognize and repeat the law of motion, what I have achieved? I have achieved the remembering level of cognitive learning. For the same topic, when I, when my learners are able to explain the concept behind law of action and reaction, when my learner is able to write the law of action and reaction in their own words, when they are able to distinguish the third law of motion from the first law of motion and when as a teacher we are aiming our students to accomplish that, what we are doing? We will ask them to illustrate, predict, identify, paraphrase, summarize, categorize some of the information related to third law of motion. And when we are aiming at that, it is called understanding level of cognitive learning. What is beyond understanding level of cognitive learning? That is our learners ability to construct a model to demonstrate how it will work. So, if after the session my, my learners or participants are able to apply this law on moving bodies, if my learners are able to use the Newton's law to find the forces required to move a body or if my learners are able to infer after applying enough manual force to wall that why it does not move, basically we are asking them to generalize, to show and use the information inherent in the learning and uh, use the information related to the third law, Newton's third law of motion. And when our learners are able to do this, when our instructor is aiming their learners to able to accomplish all this, what they are doing? They are ensuring the application level, the third level of cognitive learning according to the Bohm's taxonomy. After the application level, you remember the higher level of thinking starts and that starts with analysis. Analysis about the third law of motion may involve our learners ability to solve the questions like examining the various assumptions in the law of motion, how to classify the various factors affecting the motion, analyzing the various situations or laws of motion and come out with a relationship. All these things, all these questions are related to have the different components of the information and ability to see the interconnection of the different component of the information inherent in the third law of motion. And when we are doing it, we will be using the uh, action verbs, cognitive action verbs like distinguishing, select, arrange, organize, outline, analyze, compare, classify, organize examine, dissect kind of terms. So, if I am aiming at analysis about the third law of motion, my questions will be analyze the different components or assumptions about the third law of motion, distinguish the third law from the first law in terms of its application. You compare the moment of the vehicle and its collision on a stone from the perspective of first law of Newton and third law of Newton. So, these words are very useful to identify the learning objectives. When I am writing about, when I have to take a class, I need to identify what is the level of cognitive learning we want our student to achieve. Are we aiming our students to achieve the remembering level? then the topic, whatever is the topic, 
we can customize it to the remembering level. But if we want our students to analysis level, then we have to give different examples, then we have to give, then we have to ask different questions <coughs> and different exercises for students to enable the analysis level of learning. And if you might remember, what is beyond analysis? Beyond analysis comes our ability uh, to access the applicability of third law to human motion. Can you design some experiment for assessing third law of motion? How will you assess its significance in our daily life? So, where all it is being applicable and how we can use it that is related to assess, justify, critique, judge or compare the information. Uh, another evolution level question can be how the Newton's law of uh, uh, motion, third law of motion will be applicable on earth and moon, how the it will apply to a moving vehicle. Like that we can, we need to identify the questions which provoke the higher level of thinking. Asking questions and choosing appropriate exercises are keys for students or learners to, to practice the higher level of learning about any topic. Then comes the final stage, when if we ask our students or if we are aiming that our students, our learners will be able to create a new device, which is based on the third law of motion. If we are aiming at our students, for our students to be able to make something, some instrument like rocket or uh, which can swim or fly or they can design something using this law, th then we are aiming at creating level of cognitive learning. 